good day Michael here and looking at our devotion here it's subtitled cure for envy and again it's from the Spurgeon archives where his verse that he's expounding on is the one from Proverbs 23 verse 17 and 18 that says let not mine heart envy sinners but be thou in fear of the Lord all the day long, for surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cast off. And he expounds, When we see the wicked prosper, we are apt to envy them. When we hear the noise of their mirth and our own spirit is heavy, we half think that they have the best of it. This is foolish and sinful. If we knew them better, and especially if we remember their end, we should pity them. The cure for envy lies in living under a constant sense of the divine presence, worshiping God and communicating with Him all the day long, however long the day may seem. True religion lifts the soul into a higher region where the judgment becomes more clear and the, des the desire are more elevated. The more of heaven there is in our lives, the less of earth we shall covet. The fear of God casts out envy of men. The death blow of envy is a calm consideration of the future. The wealth and glory of the ungodly are a vain show. Their pompous appearance flashes out for an hour and then it's extinguished. What is the prosperous sinner the better for his prosperity when judgment overtakes him? As for the godly man, his end is peace and blessedness, and none can rob him of his joy. Wherefore, let him forego envy and be filled with sweet content.